What would you do if yeah. I broke into your house? Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh. I don't know. Call pest control? Help an oversized possum is in my house? Oh, wait, no, it's someone dressed like a dog fox thing. I live in England. I'm not sure there's even a known pest control company. I, le I legit don't know what I'd do because I'd be so weirded out that some man fox thing just came into my house. I mean, do I call the police? Help, help, there's someone dressed like a fox in my house and he's dancing towards me. I mean, just look at that. That is the stuff of nightmares. I'm, I'm getting anxiety just thinking about this scenario. Why am I getting so, like, riled up by this? Is this... Is, this isn't gonna happen. I mean, what would you guys do in this scenario? Oh no! Gringe! <laughs> How many of you have memories of your parents you can't quite remember clearly because you were too young and someone just thought, Hey, I totally shouldn't capture this moment because this kid's gonna grow up and suck. Well, how about the first sign of your existence in the world caught on camera is being held on video by your father in a furry suit? Let's check it out. This furry dad is meeting his daughter for the oh. first time. Oh, hi. Hello there. Oh, hello. Oh, you are so cute. Oh, I love you so much already. Frozen. I'm your papa. Yeah. Damn, dude, I thought I had some trauma. I mean, if people want to dress up in a sweaty furry suit, that's fine. But maybe for the birth of your child, you might not want to dress up as a furry. It's not like the kid is going to grow up and want to see their dad's reaction to them being born. Instead, they've got Frozen the Fox, who's one brain cell away from becoming rabid. I mean, if that was me, I'd crawl straight back up my mom and be like, hey, you, you do that again. Let's get it right this time. I'm calling it now. There will be a video in the future when at a kid's graduation ceremony, you will have someone come up on stage in a furry suit, accept the award, and then walk back to their parents, who will also be in furry suits. Let's just move on to the next clip. Hello. Ooh, whoa. Today's MLP Monday. <gasps> What's MLP? It's my little pony. Shut the up. I mean, I really need to go to face cam videos so you guys can see my reaction to these clips. Her name is Wingo Dash. Want to pet her? No, no. What's on the side of my face? Shh. It's my cutie mark. I'm a pony. Don't tell any pony that I'm a pony or they'll send me back to Ponyville. Shh. Want a goldfish? He attack, he protect, but most importantly, he's the snack that smiles back. <laughs> you like my makeup? Oh, whoa! Thank you. You are very kawaii. Well, I gotta go now. See you later. Bye. Cool makeup, dude. 10 out of 10 would buy you a Subway sandwich where the filler is bread and nothing else. Love this guy's passion for something he enjoys, but I have no idea what he's talking about. And it's, it doesn't seem like something I could even understand, even if I looked it up and learnt about it. Also, at first, I thought he had a massive spot on his face, but apparently it's makeup. If you pop that thing, you'd have cottage cheese. You know the videos I'm talking about. <laughs> Swiftly moving on, we all know TikTok, great place sometimes, but I do find the weirdest videos on there. If you guys find any weird videos, by the way, be sure to send them to me on Twitter at It's Ben95. But yeah, I don't know what this video is, but enjoy. One, two, me, and I'm a Bobby girl in a Bobby world. Uh -uh. Life in plastic. Fantastic. Damn, dude, what even is this? They even went outside to record it. So, I mean, props for them actually leaving their house. The last kid who was in his room talking about ponies and bronies was just hiding in the basement. I guess people can't see this weird minion lady filter, but why would you even do this? <laughs> Maybe I'm not cool and down with the kids, but who makes this and thinks, yeah, this is going online. Back in my day, people didn't want a picture of them going online with a bad angle. I mean, but now, <laughs> now you've got people posting this themselves. I mean, we just live in a different time, I guess. Fun fact, my cousin killed three people, but he's also really hot. I mean, just what the justice system needs. Stans. Stans who are cousins of the person that killed three people. 
There's just so much wrong with this. Let me break it down. Bad man hurts free people badly. Woman on Twitter hyping this man up saying he is really hot. Woman on Twitter is also related to the man who hurt free people badly. Woman thinks it's a fun fact her cousin killed three people. <laughs> okay guys, check this out. How many of you know someone who thinks they are a lot more tough than they really are? Well, how about if they decided to post it online just how tough and scary they are? Well, that's exactly what this guy did. I mean, shiver me timbers, glad I don't live near this guy. Every sort of like edgy person you ever see always has some like really obscure name. This guy's called Primal Darkness. <laughs> I mean, he just looks like some bootleg orc from Orc... <laughs> orc of the Rings, Lord of the Rings. I think my favorite part of the video is <laughs> how he just exhales a massive cloud of vape to really emphasize how dark and tough this guy is. Whoa, watch out man, don't breathe your passion fruit and kiwi on me. <laughs> this next clip is probably one a lot of you might have seen before, but I just find it really bizarre that people would do this. It's when they fake having disorders such as Tourette's in this example. I just find it to be the stupidest thing anyone can pretend to do. I mean, it's just so sad in my opinion, because people generally struggle with this type of condition. <laughs> For anyone watching this thinking, what even is this woman doing? You'll be happy to know that she actually deleted her TikTok because of the uproar this caused. The fact that she was faking having Tourette's. One for you. I mean, just what an absolute idiot. I don't know much about DID or Tourette's, but the fact people like this are faking having these conditions is just embarrassing. I mean, this is just so stupid. It'd be like if someone was faking having diabetes. I probably wouldn't be too upset, but at the same time, I'd ask, why are you going out your way to stab yourself with a needle every day just to survive? But hey, what can I say? It's so much fun having to do it. Who wouldn't want to miss out on that absolute party? <sighs> Well, that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out. You can follow me on my socials. I try and respond to all your messages, but I do get quite a lot. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I hope the milk didn't ruin it too much. I'll see you all next time.